Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will cover how to manage topics on your NAPCOMMER site. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.70. In NAPCOMMERS, topics have a significant meaning. Topics are content blocks that can be displayed on your site, either embedded within other pages or on a page of their own. For an instance, this text on the home page is a topic content block. On the other hand, Topics can be used as individual pages that you would like to have on your NAPCOMMER site. Topic pages are often used as FAQ pages, policy pages, special instructions, and so on. For example, policy notice page that comes with NAPCOMMER's out of the box is a topic page. Same with condition of use and about us page. Let's go to the administration section and learn more about managing topics. From the content management menu, select topic pages. In the list, you can see home page text. This is the topic that we were referring previously. The content is coming from here. Let's go back to the topic list. And let's say for an instance, you would like to create a page on your store site that talks about your return policy. To add a new return policy page, click add new. Specify the title, in the body field you can add the topic content using the editor provided. The content of your custom topic pages can be written for each language separately depending on how many languages you have installed on your NAPCOMMER site. System name. The system name must be unique for each topic. Within NAPCOMMERS, system name can be used to make a call for a specific topic block when you are looking to pull that content. In this example, we are simply going to use return policy as our system name. Save and continue. And here we can see that we have a unique URL for our topic page. If you go to that URL, we should be able to see our topic page. Now let's go over some options on topic detail page. Password protected. If you would like to specify a password for a topic page, save and continue. And if you try to access the page now, it's going to ask for a password. This is a great way to create secure private pages on your store site. You do get an option to include the topic page in sitemap, top menu. You can also include the page link in the site footer, either in column 1, column 2, and column 3. In this example, we are going to include the page link in column 1 in the site footer. Save and continue. If you refresh it, we should be able to see the page link in the footer. Now let's go over some tabs in the topic detail page. SEO tab. You have an option to specify meta keywords, meta description, meta title, and search engine friendly name for a topic page. Access control list. You can enable access control list for a topic depending on the role. If you are using the multi-store feature in NAPCOMMERCE, you can limit the topic page for the store. And this is how we manage topics in NAPCOMMERCE that allows you to edit or update content on the fly without touching the code. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NAPCOMMERCE, open source shopping cart. Thank you.